In this lesson, we're talking about comparing and ordering decimals, and our objective is to compare and order decimal numbers. You may be asking, why do I need to do this, or why learn this? And it's, you know, definitely a life skill that you need to be able to compare weights of grocery items, such as packages of meat, or how much an item may cost uh, compared to another. Um, so, definitely a, uh, a skill that you'll use quite often. So, let's look at our... Uh, you know, place value chart that we've been looking at, but you use, you can use a place value chart in order to compare one decimal to another. So when we look at our two numbers right here, we're comparing six and seven hundred forty-one thousandths, and six and seven hundred forty-two thousandths. Well, to compare, we can put them in our chart, and our goal is obviously not to draw out a chart every time, but we'll do a few with the chart and then a few without. And so when we put them in a chart, we line up our decimal points. And when we compare, we start at our greatest uh, place value, which is our ones. And so we have the same number here of a six. So we move to our tenths place. And we have the same digit, which is a seven. So we look to the hundredths place. We have the same digits, a four. And then we look to the thousandths place. Well, now we have a two uh, for this number and a one for the other one. Well, 2 is greater than 1. So what number did the 2 come from? Well, it was the 6 and 742 thousandths. So it is greater than, remember, that this sign is greater than, uh, is greater than 6 and 741 thousandths. So let's now practice together. So we're going to use our inequality signs, uh, which, remember, is our less than, greater than, or our equal to sign in the circle. So just like we did on uh, the previous one done for us, we're going to write in our numbers in the uh, place value box, so uh, the place value chart. So we're going to put 2 and 45 hundredths compared to 2 and 54 hundredths. So when I look at my uh, place values, the ones place, they're the same. Now my tens, my tenths place, I've got a 4 and a 5. Well, that 5 is greater than 4, so I can stop there. I don't need to keep on comparing. And I know that my 2 and 54 hundredths is greater than 2 and uh, 45 hundredths. So as I say this from left to right, I'd say 2 and 45 hundredths is less than 2 and 54 hundredths. So let's look at the next one. We have to put our numbers in our place value chart. So I've got 6 and 23 hundredths, and then I have 6 and 230 thousandths. Well, I've got a problem right here because there's a empty spot in my thousandths place for the top number. Well, when I have that happen, all you do is you put a zero in that to be a placeholder because when you add a zero to the right of a decimal point at the end of a number, it doesn't change the value of it. So now when we look at these two numbers, I've got a six, both in my ones place. I've got a two in my tenths. I have a three, both in my hundredths, and a zero in my thousandths. So when every single one of those is the same, well, these are the same value. All that is different is there's now a zero uh, that I added in my place value chart. So these are the exact same value of a number. We just may say them differently, 2 and 23 hundredths compared to 2 and 230 thousandths. So now for number 3, we're going to put in our numbers. So I have 7 in my tens, a 2 in my ones, and then I have a 6 in my tenths, a 4 in my hundredths, and an 8 in my thousandths. For the second number, I have a 7 in my tens, a 2 in my ones, a 6 in my tenths, a 5 in my hundredths, and an 8 in my thousandths. So if I, again, we compare going from our greatest number, greatest value, uh, place value, and work down. So in my tens, I both have a 7. my ones, I have a 2 in each. So right now they're the same. A 6 in my tenths. And then in my hundredths, now I have a difference. I have a 5 in one and a 4 in the other. So that must mean that our 72 and 658 thousandths is greater than the other one, is greater than the 72 and 648 thousandths. 
So if I, again, we have to read this left to right. 72 and 648 thousandths is less than 72 and 658 thousandths. And here's our last one that we're going to use, the place value chart when we compare. Uh, so we have to write our numbers in, so 5, 6, 4, 8, 7, 6, 564, and 876 thousandths compared to 564 and 786 thousandths. So we look at our greatest uh, place value, our hundreds, both have a 5. We look at our tens, we both have a 6. And our ones, they both have a 4. And then we have our tenths. And the first one has an 8 and the other one has a 7. So we can say that 564 and 876 thousandths is greater than 564 and 786. And this is how we read it left to right. Now we need to compare these, uh, but we don't have a place value chart. So we need to know, all right, how can I do this just by looking at it? Well, looking at it, I look at my place values. So if I look at starting at my ones place, I have a three and I have a three. And then in my ten tenths, I have a two and a two. In my hundredths, I have a one and a one on the other side. But then my thousands, I don't have a number, so I'm going to put a zero, and I have a zero in both, so these are equal. If we look at it, let me take away those uh, arrows, when I compare the two, all that is different is I have a zero at the end. I didn't change the value, but I would say this first one is three and twenty-one hundredths, and the second one would be three and two hundred ten thousandths. Same value, just maybe a different way of saying it. For number six, I have 721 and 46 or 460 thousandths, and then the other one I have 72 and 146 thousandths. So if I compare looking at place values, I have a 7 and my 100. Well, my other number, I don't have a hundreds place. So if I put a zero there, there is no value in my hundreds place. So I can already say that 721 and 460 thousandths is greater than 72 and 146 thousandths. So I look at 7. I have 6 and 275 thousandths compared to 6 and 257 thousandths. So let's look at our place values. I have a 6 in my tens, or not my tens, in my ones place, uh, and then I have a 2 in my tenths place in both, and then in my hundredths I have a 7 in this one, and then I have a 5 in the other one. Well, the 7 is greater than 5 in my hundredths, so that must be that 6 and 275 thousandths is greater than 6 and 257 thousandths. Let's look at number 8 now. 468 and 36 thousandths is greater, or well, we don't know anything yet, compared to 468 and 136 thousandths. So we look at our place values. I have a 4 in each of my hundreds place, a 6 in my tens, an 8 both in my ones place, and then in my tenths I have a 0 and then I have a 1. Well, 0 is less than 1. So that must mean that our 468 and 136 thousandths is greater than the 468 and 36 thousandths. So as we say this left to right, reading with our inequality sign, 468 and 36 thousandths is less than 468 and 136 thousandths. Now our last two, we have to order these from least to greatest and ordering these from least to greatest this gets a little bit more complicated because instead of just going one place value compared to the other one we have three of them so the easiest way to do this would be to just write them out so I have 16 and 54 hundredths and I have 16 and 56 hundredths let's clean that one up 
56 hundredths and 16 and 55 hundredths. So when I compare my place values, I have a 1 in my tens, a 6 in my ones, a 5 in my tenths, and now I am looking at my hundredths place. Well, 4 is the least one, so that's going to be my first number. And then the 5 is the next greatest, and then the 6 is the third greatest. So if I write these out from least to greatest, remember least to greatest, I have 16 and 54 hundredths, followed by 16 and 55 hundredths, and the greatest one of the three is 16 and 56 hundredths. And for number 10, we have, just do the same thing, I have 3 and 400 thousandths compared to 3 and 4 thousandths compared to 3 and 40 thousandths. Well, since they all go to the thousandths place, I don't need to add in any place value holders, um, and now I can compare. So I have 3 in my 1's place, I have a 4 in my 10's. Well, 4 is greater than 0 in both of those, so I know that that is the greatest 1. So I have to remember, write these from least to greatest, so I know this is going to be my last one, so that's going to be my third one. So let's compare the next ones. 0 and 0 in my ten tenths, so I look to the next digit. I have a 0 and a 4. Well, 0 is less than 4, so that must mean that that is my first one, and then 3 and 40 thousandths is my second. So to write these out, I have 3 and 4 thousandths is my first, followed by 3 and 40 thousandths, followed by 3 and 400 thousandths. That's the end of comparing and ordering decimals. Let me know if you have any questions.